Hey Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter four, number 71. And here we were told that we were gonna play a game that involved picking a card from a regular deck of cards and tossing a coin. And then we've got three outcomes. So if the card was a face card and the coin landed on heads, you won $6. If it was a face card and the coin landed on tails, you won $2 and everything else meant you lost two dollars so let's write down we had if i had face card plus heads that was going to give me six dollars right and if i had face card plus tails that was going to get me two dollars and then everything else was going to make me lose two dollars so the variable here you can see this discrete numerical variable right my variable is money all right, anytime you're dealing with gambling, you're talking about money, right? Money won if the numbers are positive and money lost if they're negative. So you see me going to make a PDF because the first part of this problem said, hey, can you get me a PDF? So I put my variable over here in the top row. Now to figure out how to do the probabilities, I wasn't given any probabilities, so we're going to have to make a tree diagram. So the first thing I need to do is think about when I pick out my face card. Or I'm sorry, when I pick out my, my card, is it a face card or not a face card? And when we're talking about our standard deck of cards, there are 12 face cards out of 52. All right, And when we're talking about um, picking a card out of a regular deck of cards, that means there are 40 cards out of 52 that are not face cards. And take note, like any PDF or any um, sample space, those two outcomes have to add up to one. And then the next thing that can happen is I can either flip a head or a tail. And it said it was a fair coin, so there's gonna be a 50-50 shot here. All right, so basically I have four outcomes, and let me change pen colors here, right? I have face card plus heads, right? I have face card plus tails. I have not a face card, or I could say face card complement, and I flip a heads, or not a face card, and I flip a tail. And if I wanna figure out each of those probabilities, I would multiply the appropriate branches. Now keep in mind, we were told that if we go with this option, we win six. With this option, we win two. With this option, we lose two. And with this option, we lose two. So in terms of figuring out what goes on to my PDF, I'll do this, let me color code this. So I want this branch for this outcome, right? So what I did, you can see me multiplying the appropriate branches. All right, if I wanna talk about winning two dollars I want this branch down here and that is also 12 out of 52 times 0.5 right now if I'm talking about the other options the other two branches where we lose oops let me change it to a different color where we lose money it's this branch and this branch this branch and this branch all right so then I, I want to figure those out but what I always opt to do instead is if I know these two numbers let me grab this are 0.115 then I'm going to use the complement rule Right, because basically 0.115 plus 0.115 plus this mystery number here, I'll just call it x, that has to total out to one. So that's how I use the complement rule. And I find out x would be one minus 0.115 minus another 0.115, or really I'm losing two of them. That's why you have 0.770 there. So there's my, my PDF. I've got that figured out. And when it asks me to find the expected value, I put my variable into L1, my probabilities or my relative frequencies into L2, and we run one of our stats L1, L2, and there it is. I'm going to lose some money on average. So that's the expected value. And that also helps me with part B. So I expect to lose $0.62 on average, which really means $0.62. Cents. So over the long haul, I'm going to lose $0.62 cents each time I play this game, which is not a good thing. So should um, part C, should you play this game to win money? No, you shouldn't. All right, if you're ever gonna, if your average, or ex excuse me, if your expected winnings are negative, run from the game. You are not expected to win. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.